Hello friends this fourth part of live table add edit delete mysql table data by using ajax jquery in laravel framework, and in this part we will see how to delete or remove data. In previous part we have seen how can we edit or update existing mysql data from this live table in laravel using ajax jquery without refresh of web page for delete or remove of data so here on web page we can see mysql data in table format and in each of row data we can see delete button by click on this button data will be remove all delete button has class attribute is equal to delete so we will use this class as selector in jquery code for trigger ajax request for delete data from mysql table for this we have go to live table .php view file and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method under this method we have right click event with button class delete so when we have click on delete button then this block of code will execute under this block we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method under this method we have write id this code will fetch data from id attribute and store under this id variable below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to delete this records this condition confirm statement will pop up message box with ok and cancel button if user click on ok button then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write ajax request and under this we have write first option url set to root function with argument like live table dot delete data here we have send request to delete data method of live table controller for delete data from mysql table in second option we have write method which we have set to post here we have use post method for send data to server in third option we have write data in this option we can define which data we want send to server so here we have send id variable and underscore token variable send to server lastly we have write success callback function this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive response from server under this function first we have write dollar with division tag id message with html method under this method we have write data variable it will display success message on web page after this we have called fetch data function this function will fetch remaining data from mysql table and display on web page now we have go to live table controller and here we have make delete data method with request argument under this method we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar request variable with ajax method if this method received ajax request then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write database class with table method under this method we have write sample table this method will define mysql table name after this we have add where method with two argument like id table column name dollar request with id variable 
This method will add WHERE clause in DELETE query. Now we have add DELETE method, this method will make DELETE query, and execute that query, and it will delete data from sample table. After successfully delete of data, now we have write echo statement, with message like data deleted, this message will be display on web page, to user side. Lastly we have to set root of this delete data method, so we have go to web.php file of roots folder. Here we have write root class with post method with two argument, in first argument we have write slash live table slash delete data, and in second argument we have write live table at the rate delete data method. After this we have write name method, under this method, we have write live table dot delete data, this is for Ajax request, so when this URL has been hit from Ajax request, then it will call delete data method of live table controller, now we have check output in browser. Friend first we have refresh of web page, after refreshing of web page, we can see sample table data on web page in table format, with delete button on each for delete data. Now we want to delete second row data, so we have click on that row delete button, after click on delete button, we can see pop up message box on web page with OK, and cancel button. First we have click on cancel button, then no action has been performed, that means data has not been deleted, now we have again click on delete button. Now we have click on ok button, after click on ok button, we have received data delete message on web page, and that row also removed from table also. So. This way we can delete or remove data from MYSQL table using Ajax in Laravel framework, without refresh of web page. So, here in this series we have first seen, how to fetch data from MYSQL table, and display on web page, with editable column, first row for add in records, and delete button. In second part we have seen, how to insert or add new records in live table, in third part we have seen, how to edit or update existing data, and lastly we have seen how to delete or remove data from MYSQL table. After completing this all part, we have make simple live table single page application in Laravel using Ajax, in which we can perform, add, edit, remove data without refresh of web page, because in this we have use Ajax, and jQuery. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.